Henry's bitter disappointment, she gave birth not to the son she had promised, but to a daughter, Princess Elizabeth. Henry's passion for her soon cooled. The king pursued other women, including Anne's lady-in-waiting, Jane Seymour. Anne's old allies deserted her, and she was sent to the tower accused of adultery with five men, including her own brother. beheaded at the Tower of London on the 19th of May, 1536. Just 11 days after Anne's execution, Henry married Jane Seymour. The news of Jane's pregnancy the following year was greeted with celebration across the country. Jane gave birth to Henry's long-awaited son and heir at Hampton Court. Prince Edward was christened in the Chapel Royal, but as the king and country rejoiced, Jane grew dangerously ill. She died at Hampton Court in the early hours of October the 24th. 1537. Henry grieved deeply for Jane, but he needed another son and another wife. He wanted to marry for love, but his chief advisor, Thomas Cromwell, persuaded him to choose a woman he had never met, Anne of Cleves, for political reasons. The marriage was announced, but when Henry saw his new bride for the first time, he was not impressed. The marriage took place in January 1540, with Henry furious and unwilling, and Anne unaware her marriage was already doomed. In July that same year, with Anne's consent, the marriage was dissolved. I am comforted that your highness will take me for your sister, for the rich and most humbly. Thomas Cromwell was executed, and Henry married for the fifth time. He had fallen in love with a teenage Catherine Howard. Henry was 49 years old, obese, ill, and in constant pain from a leg wound which would not heal, but he was besotted by his high-spirited new wife. Soon, though, there was gossip about the new queen's relationship with Thomas Culpepper, a member of the king's household. In November 1541, at Hampton Court, Henry was given evidence of Catherine's adultery. He went wild with rage. Her fear and remorse could not save her. Catherine Howard was beheaded for treason on the 13th of February, 1542. The following year, Henry married the twice widowed Catherine Parr, his sixth and final wife, here at Hampton Court. She was known as a clever, virtuous and amiable woman and became a friend and mentor to his children. But Catherine was also a religious reformer and made enemies at court. They plotted to have her arrested, but Catherine threw herself on Henry's mercy and he forgave her. I am with all the she is natural to the deepest places. Therefore, in all matters of fashion, I must refer myself to your majesty's better judgment as to my lord and head. Henry died in January 1547. King Henry VIII had been desperate all his life for a male heir to carry on the Tudor dynasty. But his only son, Edward, reigned for just six years. After the reign of Queen Mary, it was Elizabeth, Henry's daughter by Anne Boleyn, who restored the fortunes of her father's dynasty and became the longest reign of all the Tudor monarchs. <laughs> 